Hi, it's Dr. John Perlman, Beverly Hills Plastic Surgeon, again talking about something that's close to me on a personal level that I wanted to share with you because I think it's something that I've experimented with and I think quite successfully you might benefit from. It's really on the subject of how I feel like I have helped my internal and my external environment. And let me explain more. Uh, about a year and a half, of, no, two and a half years ago, I became interested. I've always been a car fan for years and known sports cars and classic cars, etc. But I developed an interest in electric cars, specifically the Chevy Volt. It seemed appealing. I thought it would be a great second car. I usually drove a sports car. I had it for many years and really, really enjoyed it. But to my surprise, I found myself so pleased with the use of an electric car, avoidance of gas stations, having a sense that uh, I was taking a little bit of pollution away from the environment, and also helping with the uh, issue of sending money to the oil producers, uh, those that are not our friends necessarily. Uh, even if we don't send it directly, we bolster oil prices, and it probably helps uh, the state of Iran and the state of uh, Venezuela, certain countries in the Middle East that really aren't our friends, probably, when the chips are down. So uh, it's given me a great feeling. I've enjoyed the car to the point that I've actually sold the sports car that I used to drive. And I use this uh, electric vehicle every day. I'm so proud of the fact that I've stopped by a gas station probably once in the last three months. So electric power is generally generated by uh, natural gas uh, generators, as I understand it. So since we have an abundance of that in this country, uh, I, I feel really good about it. I think it uh, helped just a little bit to clean up the environment or prevent polluting it worse. The second thing is internal. About six months ago, oh, about 15 years ago, I stopped eating red meat and, uh, and cut back on my dairy, just for general health purposes. I've always had a, a good feeling uh, about that. But about six months ago, I decided to give a go at being a, a vegan plus fish eater. So I've completely eliminated dairy. I've completely eliminated uh, uh, sugar in my coffee which is not part of being a vegan, however, but probably good for general health. And I've cut out uh, chicken and turkey. And uh, what I found is amazing. I uh, coincidentally lost about seven or eight pounds that uh, I probably didn't need to carry, even though I didn't feel I was overweight. Started becoming more physically fit, exercising more, getting out of my bicycle more. And uh, what I've been pleased to find is that if you go into restaurants nowadays, at least here in California, if you ask for a vegan dish, something free of dairy and meat, not only do they exist, but they're darn good. They're tasty. It's, it's actually uh, easy to do. I, I, to my surprise, I don't miss the turkey burgers and the shredded chicken in my salad and uh, the roast chicken, which incidentally I still do feed my, uh, my, my son. Hopefully one day he'll become a vegan too in, in due time. But um, I feel like my, my stomach has shrunk, my appetite is less, I feel so much healthier and cleaner. And there are the secondary benefits. If you're uh, an animal lover, it's, it's kind of nice to feel that chickens aren't being sacrificed to feed you or cattle. So think about that. The side benefit for many people might be losing a few pounds and getting motivated to exercise more and eat healthfully. And in fact, do your own research about what's considered the most healthy foods nowadays. You may find that you're motivated to change your diet for good health, cancer prevention, heart disease prevention, and uh, you'll feel good about your internal environment, perhaps the way I do too. So thanks for listening. Hope this is of some benefit to you either now or in the future. Keep an open mind about it. I'm, I'm very happy that I made the change. And, and by the way, I would recommend that you look at Dr. Greger, G-R-E-G-E-R. -E -E I think it's Michael Greger, nutritionfacts.org. He's on YouTube. Uh, a brilliant man. I've learned a lot from him. It's given me a lot of motivation uh, to look at uh, my sources of nutrition um, from a health perspective, and I think you'll find it very worthwhile. Be healthy, take care of yourself, and thank you for listening. It's Dr. John Perlman. Speak to you soon.